I know the AFR called it a horror first half, but since then you've been running down inventory, you've been focusing in on costs, you have high margins, standardized products, a capital light business model, so you should be performing better than you currently are, right? When can investors expect perhaps a more material turnaround? I think investors would have seen a huge turnaround in profitability in the last half. So obviously a year has two halves. And um, a bit dramatic, that headline you just read out, but I guess clickbait is very important when you're looking for traffic. So yes, it was a, the first half wasn't great. And our numbers do show a huge turnaround uh, since the first half. So we have returned the business to profitability. We did exactly what we said we'll do in terms of the inventory. And uh, we're very pleased with progress in that regard. Just on the macro here, um, I know you said it's really hard to forecast, but uh, in Australia, we're talking about these uh, other major retail earnings today. And these retailers are saying, okay, look, household budgets are tighter because interest rates continue to go up. How are you assessing the, the WTP, the willingness to pay of the Australian consumer today and the broader macro conditions? Because it would be really easy to blame the 10 plus percent uh, decline that we're seeing in shares today and some of the uh, earnings disappointment on the state of the economy and the outlook for interest rates, right? But you're not necessarily doing that. Yeah, no, and especially, um, look, the economy will do what it does and Kogan has a, you know, a very small impact over the wider economy. We're a, you know, we're a business doing, um, you know, a small fraction of the overall retail in the market. And for us also, we have seen historically that whenever customers do it tough, they start to do a bit more research, they start to tighten up, they start to consider their purchases a lot more. And we are a price-based retailer. We work very hard to optimize supply chains, to optimize our platform and systems, to create a marketplace that has a lot of competition and drives prices down. Um, so uh, you can see even from the slide on the screen at the moment in terms of the repeat purchase behavior. So we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of that in this environment. And our view is that those like us who drive a lot of value to customers tend to win market share in environments when uh, there's a bit of uncertainty and uh, belt tightening going on.